Today I'm going to show you how to draw a cartoon giraffe. First thing you need to do is make sure your paper is vertical, up and down, the long ways. And uh, we're going to start the drawing of the giraffe uh, close to the top. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to make a kind of a long, funny looking U. And once you get that U done, then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add eyebrows. Now I know giraffes don't have eyebrows, but I like eyebrows, so I'm going to put eyebrows on my giraffe. They're kind of a rectangle, but not a real straight rectangle. You can kind of angle them any way you want to make them look so you can see them better. Get a little closer up so you can see what I'm doing a little better. So now we've got our U and we've got our two rectangles. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a couple of eyes. Of course, the eyes will just be little circles under the eyebrows. Uh, now we're going to add in his nose. So the nose on a draft is just, we're going to make just a couple of little slashes like that. One angling one way, one angling the other way. Now below that, he needs a chin. So we're going to go right about here on his mouth face. We're going to draw a chin. Now, if you want to have his mouth open, you can go and do kind of a similar thing like that for his mouth open. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to close his face up. So we're going to go to the very end of the eyebrow, and we're going to draw a line that comes about two-thirds of the way down his face. And then the other side, we're going to do the same thing. So now basically we have most of our giraffe's face. We'll stop at the top of the eyebrow, and then we're gonna kind of make a big circle that goes across to the other eyebrow, kind of an upside down C. So now we have this whole face done, but it needs ears. So on this side, we're gonna go out and make kind of a backwards C. And then inside that, we're going to make the inside of the ear by doing something similar. We'll go to about the same place on the other side. And draw something similar. Now we got two ears. A little off, but that's okay because we're doing a cartoon. We can make it any way we want. We'll go to the top of the head. We're going to draw his line a straight line up. Then kind of curve out, curve back in, and another straight line. So now you've got his one antler. Go to about the same place on the other side. Straight line up. Little circle at the top. And then back down. So now we've got his face, his ears, his eyes, his eyebrows, which I like, and his antlers. But we did add his hair. So we'll go to the top of his face. And we'll just kind of, they kind of have a little funny looking mane. So we'll do it like that. And then we'll put a couple of wispy hairs. They can actually go above the top of that if you want. So we got that. So now we have his face, but as we know, giraffes have spots. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna add a few little spots that you can color in later. You can kind of put them any place you want. They're circles, but make them kind of, you know, they're not round, round circles on giraffe. As you get to his nose, you might start making him just a little bit smaller. He's going to have some on his ears, so we'll put a couple on his ears. We're just kind of seeing the edge of those. And this ear, and the other ear, we'll put one. We can see the whole, the whole thing. Let's go up so. But then we'll put another one that we can see part of. So now we have the draft's face. So the next thing we need to add to our draft is his neck. So we're going to take, you're going to take your pencil or your pen or whatever you're drawing with and you're going to put it right about here on his lip and then you're going to take a long line down like so. Then you're going to go about here on his face and you're going to make another long line like so. You might make it just come out a little wider as you get down. So now we have his neck and drafts have very long necks. You can make his as long as you want. We have to add that mane, or his hair, coming down the side, so we're going to go right about the middle of his face on this side, and you're just going to kind of make a squiggly line. doesn't have to be a perfect line, 
just kind of squiggly like so and down to about so and then we're gonna go down now it's gonna have to have some hairs on that so there again you can make some little lines if it goes over the top of it that's okay it gives a little character and we do it like so now obviously he has spots on his neck so we're gonna go in here and maybe make a partial spot and then make another whole spot here maybe one up here and close that one up and we'll do a spot down here and then as we go down we'll add maybe another one here that touches the end of his neck so probably that spot on the other side of his neck and another one oh, about here and then another one about here and maybe one put them kind of random so that they're not the same place because they're, they're kind of random on a draft so now as you can see we've got a draft uh, his neck and his face now i'm going to go out so you can see a little bit better what i'm talking about to do the rest of his body so now you see where it is on the page we've got our giraffe so we're going to go to the bottom of his neck and we're going to run a little line out like so and then on the other side, we're going to run that line down like so and kind of curve it in. So that's the beginning of his body. Now, obviously, like a horse or any other animal, they kind of, his body's going to kind of go up and then down like so. That's going to be his back and his bottom, as you say. We're going to take it, we're going to go over about here and we're going to make another line about like so. And that's going to be his thigh or the other side of his leg on this side we'll go here and we'll bring a line down like so and then we'll kind of square it off and then we'll bring it back up and that's his front leg at the bottom of his leg we have a hoof so we're going to make his hoof go down and then over and then back up and then down and then over to make his hoof so now we have one leg and his bottom. So the back leg's a little different. For the back leg, we're gonna go down a little bit, but then we're gonna curve back like so. We'll go to this part we stopped at while ago, and we'll bring it back to parallel or go the same way as that. Then we're gonna go here, and we're gonna go all the way down, and then kind of around, back up to touch that. We'll close it off right there. Now this leg, because of his body having a line here, is the leg on the other side. So now we need to do the leg on this side. So we're going to take another line down like that one. There again, it doesn't have to be straight. Matter of fact, we won't want it to be straight. And we'll have it come up like so. We'll put a hoof on that side. And then we're going to close off his tummy. So it'll be like that. Oh yeah, we need a hoof on this back leg. So we'll go down here. Do the hoof on this back leg. Now we're missing one leg. And that's the leg, the back leg on the other side. So we're going to kind of follow the lines on this one. We're going to come in, but we're not going to go down as far because it's back on the other side. We'll come back up and then we'll parallel our line back like so. And we'll add his hoof. Now, the only thing we're missing now is his tail and his spots. So go about here for his tail. The draft's tails are not like horses. They go kind of a straight line. And then we'll bring another one like so. But at the very end, we'll just kind of put some hair like so. So now we've got the complete draft and his body. Now we're gonna put a bunch of more spots and you can put these anywhere you want. I'm just gonna kind of put them randomly. A little here, a little there. And like I said, you could put yours anywhere you want. Uh, when you get down to his tummy and the inside of his legs, they don't have as many spots. So we'll do spots on this leg. Maybe a little side spot here, showing it's coming from the other side. Another spot here. A little spot down here. We'll bring down like that. Uh, wouldn't have any on his tummy, so we'll forget that. But we'll go up here on his back of his kind of bottom and we'll put some there. 
And they're again random. They don't have to be good circles because this is a cartoon and we're doing our own style. Maybe even a couple little spots on his tail. Do one down here, maybe one here. And we'll do one here. And then we'll kind of work our way down to here and here. And then some more. That back leg doesn't have very many. This front leg does. We maybe need one more little small one here. And maybe even a small one here. But we're not putting anything on his tummy. We're not putting anything on his back leg. Uh, and we're not putting anything on this back leg on the other side. And then this line we didn't quite close off, so we can uh, kind of close that off. So there you have kind of a cartoon giraffe. Now the next video I have, I'm going to show you some options on how to color it and put in shadows and highlights.